Jenna, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a super exciting home goods haul for you guys. I want to say this might be my best batch of stuff yet. I don't know, maybe I'm just excited about all my new finds, but I have been doing a ton of TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods shopping lately just with our new home. So most of the stuff is from Home Goods, but there might be a TJ Maxx or Marshalls find sprinkled throughout. The last time I was at Home Goods, <laughs> yesterday <laughs> I have a problem but the last time I was there to do a shop with me portion there was nothing on the shelves I think they're doing like their beginning of the year restock so they're getting rid of a lot of items and bring a lot of new items in so just in that process the shelves get kind of bare so there was no point in doing a shop with me so today's just gonna be a haul but I have so much stuff to share with you guys so definitely let me know though do you like the shop with me's do you like them both in one video would you rather just have hauls I don't know let me know because I'm curious but yeah, we have a lot of stuff to get to, so let's get into the haul. All right, you guys, so the first thing we got was this really pretty faux leather magazine holder. And you can see, I feel like the quality is really great. The leather looks very real in my opinion, and leather is a very cozy, high-end material, so it's nice to incorporate that in your room if your style allows for it. So it kind of warms up the space, and magazine holders are great for those little corners that you just like don't know what to do with or you just need a little something so I think we all have a corner like that in our house so I think that this is a great option I have been searching for a leather looking magazine holder for a really long time because I've had my eye on one at Pottery Barn and that guy was $130 and I also saw one on Howes that this is basically a dupe for and that guy was $160 so the fact that this was $16.99 blew my mind. So $16.99 is one of my favorites. Also, if you guys hear humming in the background, I'm so sorry, but we live in a new build community and they are like doing construction like 12 hours a day. So there wasn't a time during the day where I could film where they weren't working. So I'm sorry if you hear that. But anyways, our next item is this really pretty candle holder. I saw this and I was like, oh, that's pretty. And then I kind of left the aisle and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I was like, okay, maybe I should get that. The bad part was it was $40, so that's a little expensive for something like this from Home Goods, but I figured it was worth it because I'm really big on keeping the decor simple but impactful, and I really feel like this is a piece that does that. So it's going to go on our coffee table, and I think it's the perfect addition just because it adds a little bit of warmth and coziness with the candles and the wood, but then it's mixed with the metal, and it's just a really pretty piece overall, so I was willing to pay the 40 bucks for it when I was in the checkout line this lady was like that's so pretty I was like I know <laughs> does that ever happen to you guys you just bond with the people at home goods I don't know it's just my happy place over there so <laughs> I feel like we all get each other but anyways this was really pretty and I love this um, they had actually a couple when I was there so maybe they'll have some at yours okay so if you guys are a regular follower of my channel you know that I have a vase problem you're probably like how many vases does that girl freaking buy I mean she can like cover her whole house and then someone else's house with all the vases she has but that doesn't stop me from buying more <laughs> I found these really pretty blue recycled glass vases and I don't know there's just something about this light blue tealy look that I love because it's glass but it still has a tint of color so in my mind it's like a subtle pop and honestly the best part about these guys were the price this one was $5.99 and this one was $3.99 I feel like there's something about this kind of vase that just like freshens up a room it's very classic Joanna Gaines does sell these with her hearth and handline at Target and they are like I don't know four times the price I think one this size is like 20 bucks so the fact that you can get these for so cheap at home goods is definitely awesome and almost every time I'm there I see something like this so if you guys are looking for some light blue recycled glass jars or vases definitely check out home goods because I almost always see them there okay so this next item's a little random but it is this paper towel holder and First of all, there's no price tag on this because I filmed this video all yesterday and then it was just wasn't good quality. The focus was all whack and whatever. So I took all the price tags off when I was done and I was like, sweet, I filmed it. And now I'm like, crap, I have to refilm. 
but this guy was $4.99. It is like the Quizzen Art brand, and I really like the brassy kind of color on here. It's not that super like cheesy gold. And for $5, I really wanted to upgrade our paper towel holder because we have like a marble quartz looking countertop, and then our old one was a marble paper towel holder. So the fact that it was marble on marble definitely clashed, and I'm just happy to kind of have something that provides a little bit of a pop. So yeah. $5, had to upgrade her. All right, so this next item was probably like one of the biggest steals of this entire haul. It is this little stool, and I was prepared to pay like $60 for a good quality little stool because I'm looking to put one in our bathroom right next to our shower with a plant on top because I just kind of feel like that freshens up the area and creates softness to the bathroom. It adds to personality, and I've just kind of been looking for something to put there, and then I saw this guy and I was like, okay, that's really cute. It's probably like $50 because stools are like weirdly expensive. And then I looked and it was $14.99, you guys. I was like, my jaw was on the floor. I was like, okay, that's going in the cart. And I really like how it's kind of that light pottery barn gray looking stain and it just really works well with everything that we have going on in our home so it is one of those makeshift tags that they put on it so i'm kind of like i wonder if somebody messed up because 15 dollars for this stool is so good so definitely feel like i got away with something getting this guy for 15 dollars but it's gonna look so cute in our bathroom and i'm just so excited if you guys have a little corner or some little spot that you just don't know what to do with and it needs a little something to give it personality definitely look for a stool and then place like a medium-sized plant on top i got a really pretty olive tree from target it was 50 dollars. i'm going to be doing a target haul and target shop because i've gotten so much good stuff from there so i will do that later but if you guys are looking for a little something to spruce up your room, a stool and a plant is a great fit. All right, you guys, so for a while I have been on the hunt for a really pretty visually pleasing napkin holder. And I know that sounds kind of stupid, but I don't know. I feel like all the ones that I had seen were like either plasticky or just like not that great. And then I found this guy. It is this really pretty marble napkin holder. It was $7.99 at Home Goods, and I thought that was a really great deal. I like it because our dining room table is wood and then our lazy susan is also wood so this will be a really nice contrast of materials that's kind of something too to think about so if you guys have a wood lazy susan or if you have a metal lazy susan it might be nice to look for the opposite kind of material to coordinate with that so you don't always want wood on wood on wood just because that can kind of like you know fall flat it's nice to find items that contrast with each other and i think it'll look really great with everything else that we have on our lazy susan so super excited for this guy all right so this next item I can't show you but I will insert clips it is this gorgeous blanket ladder and I originally got it because I have one already and I was gonna just bring it home and see it in my space and decide between the two and then when I brought it home I couldn't decide so I was like you know what it's a blanket ladder it gets cold here we need blankets I have several rooms I can keep both so yeah, it was $50 at Home Goods, and for that price, for a statement piece, I thought that that was worth it. It definitely will dress up a whole wall. It looks very high-end. It looks very authentic. I feel like with the dip effect, it looks like it could be straight out of like a little house in Greece or somewhere in like the Mediterranean. I don't know why. That's just kind of what it reminds me of. So yeah, I kept it. I think it is a great little statement piece in our room to kind of dress up our wall next to our dresser and... Yeah, definitely worth the $50 in my opinion. <laughs> All right, you guys. And then to go on our blanket ladder, we have this really beautiful, casual looking blanket. I love the fringe on the end and the material is so soft and stretchy. And if you guys watch my channel, you know I'm obsessed with anything made in Portugal. And this guy was made in Portugal. So of course he went in the cart. <laughs> I don't know. I just really love like this very casual look. And I think that a lot of the pieces from there are just really pretty. So I love this one. I love that the stripe was kind of like that gray blue color. And yeah, it was $25 at Home Goods, so definitely worth it for that guy. All right, you guys. So this next thing is this beautiful statement candle. I think that these look super high end. They're definitely something to, you know, use as decoration in your space that just feels cozy and smells good and looks good. If you guys can see, it was originally $19.99 and I got it for $9. 
The only thing about it is this is a citronella candle, which is usually meant for use outdoors to keep bugs away and they can kind of smell a little funky. I think they're made of lemongrass and that doesn't bother me, honestly, just because I'm not going to be lighting this guy. I don't ever want to ruin the look of this. It's purely for decoration. So the fact that it was $9, I was not buying it for its scent. I was buying it for its looks. So I don't know. I just really, really like this guy and I could not believe that I got it for that price. And I got this one and then there's one other one. So then there's this guy and they were both like in the same little section and this guy was five dollars i thought this was really cute with a little speckled look on there and i don't know i just thought for really pretty decorative candles five and nine dollars that was such a good deal all right so i've actually been kind of struggling with pillows at home goods lately so i drove to the home goods that's like 30 minutes away to find this pillow because they have like four aisles of pillows at that one and i thought it was so pretty it's this gorgeous i don't even really know what this is let's see does it say on here so it is a jute pillow, this on the front, but I love, it's not like that orangey jute, it's that really pretty like kind of bleach looking one. I love the tassels on the end and it does have a zipper on the back if you wanted to kind of like switch it out or wash it. Um, it was $30, so kind of on the expensive end, but I'm willing to pay it for a statement pillow. I think this will look really pretty against our navy sofa and just kind of give it that like earthy texture that I've been wanting. I love playing with texture on pillows. I think it really does add to the ambiance of your space and just kind of like softens the room. So if you guys are able to find pillows with really great texture, I recommend incorporating them into your spaces. So yeah, this guy was a good find. I actually got him and then I brought it home and I loved it so much. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to drive all the way back there and get the other one. So I did and I got two of them, but yeah pretty obsessed with the pillow. All right, you guys. So next I got these really pretty placemats. It was a set of six at HomeGoods for $12.99. And I felt like that was pretty good because normally I only see sets of four there. So I was excited to find a set of six and they're that really pretty like light linen-y fabric. And I just love the look of these. They feel very casual and organic. And that's just kind of like the vibe we're going for, you guys know. I know it's kind of ballsy going with a light placemat, but you know, they just look pretty and I couldn't resist them. So yeah, if they get stains on them that's that's an excuse to buy some more so I have a problem I'm aware all right you guys so next I got this really pretty picture frame I love the detail on this leather strap here I think that's really pretty and adds kind of some personality rather than just being a regular picture frame also I love the little puppy in here I'm probably gonna like swap it out probably for a picture of my dog but I'm just like oh it looks cute with that little dog in it but yeah these guys were ten dollars and then I got them on sale for eight dollars so they were on clearance there was three of them at the store and I put two in my cart and then I got to the register and I was like dang it, why didn't I get the third one? <laughs> so I like ran back and got it real quick. So I think I'm glad I did that because I want to put them all on top of each other in one of our hallways or something. I think that these will be really pretty. The leather strap is just kind of a really cute detail and thought it was a unique piece. So I had to get these. All right, and this next piece, I'm not really sure why I got it because it doesn't really go with the decor in our house very well, but um, it was $14.99 and I don't know, I just thought it was cool. I like the shape of it. It's also a narrow mouth, but you guys know I like that because you don't have to buy as much greenery or flowers or whatever to put in it. But yeah, I like the little terracotta look. I just don't know if it like really goes with our decor, but if not, it can easily be repurposed and I definitely like the shape, so I bought it. I don't know if it'll go back or not, but I just thought it was really cute. Might go better in like, you know kind of a deserty decor or like with a mid-century modern kind of vibe but I really do think that this is pretty and I'm probably gonna find a spot for it somewhere let's be real so all right so one of the home goods that I go to that's kind of far away has a Marshalls attached and I don't know if the one near you guys has that but every time I'm there I don't even need anything from Marshalls but I was just popping there to see and I you know get suckered in every time but I thought that this was really cool this is one of their leftover holiday nail polishes and it was on clearance for four dollars and that equates to 50 cents a nail polish and I just really thought that they had some pretty neutral ones my nail polish bin is overflowing I don't know if you guys are like the same but I don't need anymore but I thought they were really pretty and worst case they can always make a great gift for somebody else so all right, you guys, that includes this home goods haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you missed the shop with me portion or not, because I want to know. But I also just wanted to say a thank you for all of you guys with all of your kind comments. That really, really does mean a lot to me when you support my channel. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.